Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Brandy if you're new here and this is Oso Farm. We are here for our March grocery haul. This is, I think the second or third, I don't know, I've lost count. My husband is saying this is the third haul for the month. So if you like grocery hauls, check out our first two. We will put that in the description box below. <music> So this was Target and Walmart, and I'm happy to say we are stocked for the month and I should only have to go back halfway through to get milk and produce. So I'm gonna start with Target. Okay, it's all kind of mixed up because I ran out of space, but we will start with Target. We've been loving this Good & Gather brand, and so I kind of bought a bunch of things that we had not tried before. I got some of these salad toppers. I got two crispy onion strings, two of the wonton strips, and then we have taco salad pretty frequently, so two of these Southwest style tortilla chips. This is one of my favorite gluten-free pizzas, so I got this for me. Um, it is the Barbecue California Pizza Kitchen, very yummy. And then this is not household or grocery haul, but I got some alligator clips for me and the girls and a t-shirt that popped up on my, when I was checking out on things you may like. So they got me there. Um, these are all the Good & Gather sauces and some of these we haven't tried. So I just got two of them. It takes about two jars for us for one meal. So I got two carnitas two carne asadas we have tried the carne asada and it's really good this is a chicken pot pie sauce and it has it served here with like some shredded chicken over veggies so i was going to try that back here i got some salsas two mango peach two roasted garlic cilantro whoa and two chile these bar, uh, buffalo wing sauce is for a Six Sisters chicken buffalo casserole meal that we're gonna have this month. You serve it over rice. And I've got my sweet Roger barking to go outside. This size, let's see, it is one quart. My husband and I don't drink this size very often, but if we have a day where we're gonna be heading out running a bunch of errands, we love this Good & Gather uh, mineral water. So I got six of the ginger peach. I got four of these really heavy duty utility tubs. I'm gonna put our gardening um, fertilizer and things that we got from Azure Standard in here for the garden, like our diatomaceous earth and extra things like that for the garage. We've been loving this Alfredo sauce. It takes two jars for a meal, but it's been an easy lunch. And I always have grilled cooked chicken in the freezer. So if we're in a bind and still want a hearty meal, that's a quick chicken Alfredo. Um, we used to make our sauce homemade, and we still will from time to time, but this is just easy to have on hand. So I got six of those, and we got these a few months ago. I just got one. These are really good to just kind of squirt on tacos or fajitas. It's a lime cream sauce and a chipotle sauce. This sesame chicken is really yummy. We have done that. Recently, I got sesame teriyaki and sweet sesame, two of each. And this is a new one to us, this Tinga Mexican cooking sauce. It has it again over shredded chicken and this says it's great for the pressure cooker. Um, I got a couple of salad dressings. I thought I got two of each, but I guess maybe they were out of stock. So I got two of the balsamic vinaigrette, one of this ginger orange dressing, and then this isn't salad dressing, it's another Mongolian garlic sauce. Um, and then I got six of their pasta sauces. I think this price was actually cheaper than Walmart, so I just got these for our stockpile. So I think that is all for Target. 
I did pick these up too from Lowe's. We needed more food grade bins. So I'll go ahead and start over here. These are 20 inch barrel Better Homes and Garden um, planters. This is obviously not in our grocery or household budget, but we are, I'm gonna put some herbs and some of my plants for the garden in here. So I got three of those and I needed, I use clothespins for um, chip clips and things like that. So I, we've really been out of that. So I got 50 of those. And we have been using mason jars for glasses for quite a while. And it's a cheap alternative. But we've been trying to eat at the dining table and these were, I wanna say $12 a box for 16. So you get eight of the juice and then eight of the like iced tea size. So I went ahead and got two boxes cause I figured for under $25, if we break a few, it's fine. And then we actually have real life glasses. Okay, some toiletries. I'm gonna try to go through this quick. It's just, I got, this is the off brand of Oh, there it is, Cetaphil, I couldn't think of the name. Cleanser, I have two of my daughters that prefer that. One more body wash for the boys. I thought I got two of these, maybe it's hiding. Here it is, of the face moisturizer. Um, I went through our medicine stockpile and we ran out of this. This is just for um, if you get an infection. I got four, these are not organized, four of the strawberry suave shampoos, four of the conditioners, three of the suave lotions, three boxes of eggs. Oh my goodness, eggs were $11 a box now. So I'm hoping this is the last month that we have to buy. Our hens should start laying in March, but I was gonna do a lot of baking for the freezer. So I needed to get a bunch and we are actually totally out of eggs. It's 180 eggs. I needed one more of these for my countertop. I was going to put steel cut oats in there and then when I went to Walmart after my Azure order they were out of these glass containers so I just went ahead and got four of those since they were in stock. Okay you're just going to spoon like with a little spoon just kind of Spoon it, plop it on top. Okay, two of the unsweetened almond milk. We use this solely for smoothies. Six milks. I forgot string cheese at Sam's Club, so I got two 36 packs. It's definitely cheaper at Sam's. We ran out of counter space. These are just vanilla yo plate yogurts. I have two kids that prefer that. These ball containers are very small. Um, but they were on sale and so I went ahead and got these. I'm just going to put these up in the garage because we are hoping that we will have things that we need to can after this garden season. Here are the surge protectors we were waiting for and then my sweet Lizzie was doing some organizing and she asked for a drawer organizer kit so I bought her that. This is some sort of moisture control. I bought two of these. This was after watching a Garden Answer video on seed starting and there was a certain seed that she uses for and I'm gonna have to look at my notes. I can't remember off the top of my head. We rarely drink beer, but um, we've been having, or we hope to have some friends over soon. And so I just wanted to have these in the garage. So if we're having fajitas or Brian's having some friends over, they have that there. This wine was for a recipe from the Magnolia table. So I got that. And we were out of margarita mix and then yellowtail has been really hard to find. I actually don't need these right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and put these up in my cabinet. So I got two of those. This is my absolute favorite wine. We've actually had a viewer comment that her husband works in the vineyard in Australia. So that was really cool. Okay, this is my small gluten-free section from Walmart. These are so good, just graham crackers, little sandwich rolls, 
I love this pizza crust. I did buy some pizza crust that I'm gonna try at Azure, so I'm excited about that, but I have these as a backup. Two boxes of lasagna and ciabatta rolls. We are gonna make French dip sandwiches when my daughter's here for spring break, so I got those for me. I mentioned in our, go ahead. I mentioned in our last grocery haul that we are having a party this weekend with 45 people coming. So I'm going to make, uh, my sister makes absolutely beautiful sugar cookies. Her name is Tanya, I'm giving her a shout out. She does an amazing job. So she told me I needed meringue powder. I got two of those. I got some um, gold sprinkles for the pre-made cupcakes that we're buying from Sam's Club. Gold plates, gold forks and just some clear plastic cups for that party. Over here, I have two large um, white bread, Mrs. Beards. I'm going to make French toast for the freezer with these. Okay, produce section, Gala apples, Granny Smith apples. If you watched my last grocery haul, you saw that a five pound bag of apples at Sam's Club was $10. So I think these were under four for three pounds. And apples, I try to save till halfway through the month and after because they store well and we eat up the softer fruits that go bad at the first of the month, like the grapes and the strawberries. And then I'll rebuy those also at halfway through. This butternut squash is for my daughter Evie. She's coming home for spring break, like I mentioned, and she asked for a veggie packet, and then I'm gonna use the rest for a sheet pan meal. I forgot avocado cups at Sam's. Again, they are so much cheaper there, but we've been feeding this to my grandson, Daniel, and he really likes that. So I got, this is how many, six. And he'll eat a whole little cup at a serving with some rice cereal. And then I was pleasant, ooh, pleasantly surprised I bought a bag of avocados and when you have other people picking out your produce I was worried that they would be overripe these are actually really really hard so that's good because I wasn't really planning on using them until the end of the weekend and today is Thursday this fresh basil is for a recipe from this magnolia table book I do not remember which one exactly two cantaloupes I haven't had cantaloupes in a long time the last few that I have bought have not been very sweet, so I'm hoping these are good. I bought more bananas, just one little bunch. We've eaten through quite a bit of the ones I bought earlier in the week. This was a substitution of peppers. So I think I asked for serrano peppers and it looks like these are poblano potentially. I got two heads of kale and then one more thing of red potatoes. I'm gonna make potato soup. Here is Daniel and Esme. Look at this cute boy. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? I hear you. Oh my gosh, he's so sweet. Matchstick carrots. I'm gonna use these for the lettuce wraps that we love and salad. Um, four ears of corn on the cob. I'm gonna make my brother-in-law, John, Uncle John's famous corn with some of our, I think our carne asada that we're gonna have this month. So I got those. One more thing of green onions, celery, two things of iceberg lettuce. We do the, what is this called? That, the salad that you like called? Iceberg lettuce? No, where you cut it into fours. Uh, a wedge. wedge, okay y'all. Does that happen to y'all where y'all cannot have a clear thought at the end of the day? So it's just a wedge salad. So each one of these makes four. You truly just cut it in fours. Drizzle it with ranch dressing and salt and pepper, and then you use a fork and a knife to eat it, and it looks fancy, but it is really yummy and easy. A thing of cheddar cheese, five pound bag of the Colby Jack. Cabbage was for a recipe. This, I thought was, uh, it's parsley. Spinach, <coughs> three, heads of cauliflower one is for the sheet pan meal and two are for cauliflower soup from the magnolia table cookbook i scored chicken originally they took it off my order and then when i logged in a day later to check out they actually had it so i got two let's see how many pounds is this 
I have no idea how many pounds. So it is $2 a pound. So that is good price for the times that we're living in. This was substituted. It was supposed to be ciabatta rolls, but we can still make our French dip sandwiches out of that. It says it goes bad three eight. So I'm gonna put this in the freezer until my daughter is home. This is also, we use the Mississippi pot roast and then we shred it and put it on the bread with provolone cheese and then scoop out some of the oil that it was cooking in. So we add these pepperoncini, a block of cream cheese, minced garlic, and a whole stick of butter to let this, it to the roast and it cooks all day, so good. <coughs> they have the cheapest price of pizza sauce, so I got a bunch of these. It was under, I wanna say it was like right at a dollar. I got three big tubs of cinnamon applesauce and three big ones of unsweetened applesauce. They have been out of the applesauce cups at Sam's, so I thought we would try this. I would think one of these would last one serving for us if everybody had a little bit. I was out of green chilies, so I got 12 of those, and I have one kiddo that prefers the diced pears, my Everett, so I got eight of those, so when the other kids are having the mandarin oranges or the peaches, we save these for him. These are the boxed yogurt bites for my Evan. We try to use these for bribery after therapies and when we need him to do something and comply for us. Okay, over here, let's see, this is just washed dishes. Um, frozen. So this is one easy meal we can do super quick. Um, the general sows and vegetable egg rolls. The price of this, when I was adding it to my cart, was actually quite a, I think that these were $6 a box and these were 8 but it's an easy meal and much cheaper than us going out. So I went ahead and got it. Can you turn that on high until that cooks? Okay, this is my little frozen section. Two things of the skinless salmon and then this mahi-mahi. I got these two for, um, we're gonna blacken these for fish tacos. It's one of my fav husband's favorites. Two things of sweet peas. We were out of peas. They have not had, I only got one bag. Ah, They've been out of their sweet potato fries for months. And it looks like I only got one. I think I ordered four. Back here, this is bread flour. I only got two. I, my mixer came in for my um, bread making, so I'm excited about that. And probably in a few months when I do my next as your standard order, I'm gonna get bread flour from there. So I just got two five pound bags to get me through. And then these are two 10 pounds of tater tots. We were totally out of frozen bread, and I do need to make some, but I just went ahead for ease, got these dinner rolls. You do let them rise, so it's sort of sort of homemade, right? Okay, lots of cornbread, totally out of the sugar snap, stir fry, got some of those. Got lots of go-gurts for Evan and the kids, and then some more baby food for Daniel. Okay, this was part of the Target order. I think the kids just stacked it up for, with the drinks, but we love these Good and Gather um, mineral waters. It is a treat, it is not a need. It's probably something in the coming months that is gonna be the first thing to go. My husband and I probably each have one a day, so this will last us well over a month. And then apple juice has been extremely hard to come by, so I got eight of those. Two things of root beer. Oh, I forgot this produce, some grapefruits, and then the frozen, I kept them in here so we could easily get them back in the freezer. Just some of the frozen orange juice, thank you. Thank you to the viewer that suggested that when I was talking about how I did not have room in my fr refrigerator for as much orange juice as we drink. So this has been a great alternative. Okay, friends, if you made it through all of that, wow. My husband just told me to slow down. I was talking fast. Today's been one of those days we went straight from the dentist. I had four with a dentist appointment. Here I am talking fast again to pick up all of this stuff. I have grief shared tonight in town, so I've got to get the cold stuff put away and 
anyways, long story, but thank you for watching. If you are new here and love grocery hauls and cooking and family life, we would love to have you join. You should also check us out on Instagram. I've been slowly trying to ease into sharing more on there as well. Okay, friends, thanks again. We really appreciate you and enjoy chatting with you in the comments. So we will see you in a few days with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.